This is Umar Ahmed for IFL TV in association with MTK Global. I'm joined by light heavyweight Liam Conroy, obviously fighting Joshua Boazzi for a vacant British title. How are you doing, Liam? I'm right, thank you. How are you? I never realised it was you, but I, I recognised you off all the videos and that, but yeah, never knew it was you at first. It is me. I'm glad you've been watching my interviews. Um, let's talk about you. Uh, Joshua Boazzi, a lot of hype around him, uh, obviously still early in his career. What do you make of him as a fighter? I think he's a good fighter. I think the hype, it de he deserves the hype, you know what I mean, from his from his amateur career and what he did in the Olympics, he deserves all the hype. So uh, I think he's I think a good fighter, but I think he's got a lot to learn as a professional. And um, I think it's a bit a step too far for him right now against me. This was obviously ordered by uh, the British board. When it was put to you uh, to fight Joshua Boetsy for the vacant title, did you sort of have any second thoughts or straight into it? No, I didn't blink. As soon as, as soon as I seen it getting shared about, that I was made mandatory against Josh. Like I say, like I said in a press conference, it's nothing personal about the opponent. It's not the opponent. It's that title I want. I would have fought anyone in Britain for it. So, yeah, there's no blink. Didn't ever even blink. Just took it straight away. Obviously, been a while since you were last in the ring uh, against Mal Shinquin. How do you reflect on 2018? Um, I had a good start to the year, and then and then it was a, it was a hard year. After that, it was hard to stay focused at times but I did I managed to stay in the gym and get quality sparring in between my surgery and got ended up lined up to fight in November and ended up getting injured again but I kind of knew that I wanted this type of fight in 2019 so I was just like stayed focused and stayed doing whatever I could just so, so that I was ready to take these type of fights this year. After the Shinquin fight, there was a lot of back and forth between you and Miles. Is that sort of beef, if you like, settled now? I don't know. I've blocked him on everything. I didn't, I didn't want to talk myself back into a fight with him. Like I say, he's, he's, um don't think he's in the top 10. And I was looking to be fighting. I wanted to fight for a British title and he was a total lad. So I wasn't interested in talking myself into a, back into a fight with someone that I'd already beat. What did you make of him winning the English title? Fair play to him. You know, he, he beat Joe McIntyre again. <laughs> over another 10 round, like I said, that's who I beat for the English title, but I stopped him in two rounds, but I know it mean, meant a lot to him, obviously, that how vocal he was over Twitter and everything about our fight, so fair play to him. Now, I interviewed Joshua Boetzi before the press conference and uh, asked him, what do you make of Liam as a fighter? Have you seen much of him? He said he hasn't seen you fight ever before. What do you make of that? That doesn't bother me at all. Like, if he hasn't seen me, I'm glad. But if he has seen me, I don't really care. <laughs> That's it. Fair enough, Liam. Um, what's your mindset going into this fight, though, for the British title? My mindset is that I have absolutely no nothing to lose because everyone's writing me off already. I can see that from my Twitter not notifications. Is that I cannot lose, but I will be relentless in this fight. And I will do everything I can to win this British title because, like I've said, this has been my dream since I was a little boy. If you were to win that British title and beat Joshua Boatsy, what sort of fights do you think you can be in then? I want to stay in these top fights. I want to stay in these big shows on this top table. And I'm, I'm sure MTK will be able to do that if I just get this fight won and win this British title. Um, like I say, I bring, keep keeping these big fights and keep keep boxing these top quality lads. This is what we come to boxing for. This is why we turn pro. So that's it. How is it all going under MTK Global as well? Fantastic. Since, since I've signed with MTK... I've just gone from strength to strength and my team up at NTK Manchester, we've got a new gym and everything, everything's just like been building up to this point. And um, as a team, we're moving from strength to strength. As as a trainer and boxer, me and Johnny have been going strength to strength, so I feel like the timing's perfect now. And with MTK, with the large pool of sparring and everything we've got, I think this is a, the best time for this fight. Just the last one, Liam. Did you watch... Uh Craig Richards uh, win over Jake Ball the other night. I did. I was ringside. I've um, I thought it was a good performance from Craig Richards, but I thought unfortunately Jake Ball never really turned up. I think he, um, he wasn't really himself, and I dare have seen him look better than that. But you can't fault Craig Richards because he just did exactly what he needed to do with the opponent that was there on that day. Got many fans coming down on a Friday, March twenty third. I will Sunday, have rather. Yeah, yeah. I will have. There's um, been a lot of interest, so. We are always loud. Barry always come and make a load of noise. So whether it's just 50 or whether it's hundreds, we'll be, we'll be heard when we're there. Liam, best of luck on camp. 
ahead of your fight against Joshua Boatsy, and uh, we'll catch up soon.